Okay, this video is going to go over the basics of setting up a scanner and messing around with it and just the overall characteristics. So we're using E-Trade Pro, but it's likely the same regardless of what platform you're using as far as concepts. So you find your scanner on E-Trade Pro by clicking the strategy scanner button under your tools. It's in between news and sectors. So then to set up your actual alerts and what's going to pop up on your scanner, you right click and go to strategy alerts. And then you'll see here, you know, tons of different settings you can choose. New high, new low, you know, new bid, new ask. Now the ones I have check marked first that you see are pre-market highs, pre-market lows, post-market highs, post-market lows. Now the reason I do that is because a lot of times you'll see promo stocks trading pre-market and the only way you'll catch that volume pre-market is if you have your pre-market settings set. In addition, you'll also see blocks on promo stocks trading after hours. So, you know, to catch some of those potential promo stocks, I want to have my post-market trading settings set as well. You can do all types of stuff, 25% pullback from lows, 75% pullback from lows, from highs, vice versa. You know, you can set how much percentage it has to be up on the day standard deviation breakouts and large bid size and all all types of stuff is on here so you know you should really kind of mess around and have some fun and do you know come up with your own own strategies and and see what types of returns you're getting now personally myself I like to make my scanner less efficient and more quantity over quality so what I do personally is I just set all the volume criteria strong volume one minute volume spike high relative volume those are the volume criteria I'm allowed to set now you can set a ratio if you wanted you could make it five it says here 2.0 to 10.0 is the highest quality I don't do that but like I said I get a ton of stocks returned to me and a lot of them are trading very minimal volume so unless you have the patience that I have to deal with a ton of stocks being returned to you in a very short amount of time, then it's best if you do use a ratio. But the reason that I only use volume and none of these others that you can see here is because to me it's all about the volume and the price. All of this stuff is just a byproduct of two things and those two things are volume and price so I just focus on volume now you'll see then as far as the filters go you can do your minimum price and your maximum price so this scanner is only going to return me penny stocks price between a penny and ten cents you type in a name mine is one to ten simple enough because it's one cent stocks to ten cent stocks you click OK and like I said you can see I've already gotten a stock hitting my scanner and there will be plenty more that hit the scanner now the key for me that I have to kind of go out of my way to do since like I said my scanner isn't that efficient is I really need to watch my scanner to see what stocks are popping up multiple times because you'll see that a ton of stocks will pop up on my scanner because you saw the settings it's just scanning for anything that's trading any volume really but what I do to get around that though is I make sure that I have my news box right here I have my level twos right here so I can see right away okay KDKN only 125,000 traded, don't need to watch KDKN. Oh, CBIS, 8 million shares traded. So I'm going to 
watch CBIS, and if I scroll down, you can see that I have a level two box for CBIS. ATRN, 20 million shares traded. That's good. So, you know, we're looking for liquidity. But as you saw with KDKN, because I have minimal settings on my scanner, I'm going to get a lot of what I call just garbage returns. So I, I don't have the most efficient scanner that you could create. And unless you have the patience and organization to do what I do by being able to type them into your level twos right away and check for news right away, then that's not the best way to set up your scanner. But I just wanted to show you guys that it is just all about the volume to me and I've gotten a lot of requests to show how my scanner is set up. So now moving on to this one. Again, you'll notice on my platform I have my level twos next to my scanners and my chart just below my scanner so that I can just take a stock popping up on my scanner, punch it into my level two right away. Now the only difference on this scanner from the last scanner I just showed you is instead of my filter being from a penny to 10 cents, my filter is from 9 cents to 21 cents. But same settings, the volume settings are the same. No ratios are on my volume settings. Now you might say, well, why are you doing 9 to 21 instead of just 10 to 20? The reason I do 9 and 21 is because I want to pick up on stocks at 9 cents testing 10 cents for a breakout and at 19 cents testing 20 cents for a breakout. You know, I don't want to catch them at 10 cents as they've already broken 10 because a lot of good breakout trades happen by being able to buy at 10 cents and sell at 11 really quickly or buy at 20 and sell at 21 really quickly. So having it set for between 9 and 21 cents allows me to catch them before they actually break. Now again, you can see between 2.13 and 2.16, I've already gotten you know a lot of returns. So it's now at this point up to me to type these in and keep my eye and see which ones are liquid. I'm not getting a level two for that one, so I'm not gonna play it anyway. BNVI, 650,000 shares, decent volume, but the chart, eh, I don't really like the chart. So, move on. SNAX. Again, pretty low volume, but this chart is decent, so HYEG, you know, and I just kind of go down the list. Only 10,000 shares here on HYEG, so I know not to look at HYEG now. And if I see something, you know, that's really liquid, like we saw over here with CBIS or, and ATRN, I have my level two boxes open so that now I can add them and I can keep my eye on them as they're trading. So this was the nine cent to 21 cent one. And again, I wanna stress the organization that you see here. I have my scanners next to my charts, next to my level twos, so that everything is seamless. There's no wasted time and wasted motion. Now, one last scanner, and this is kind of my scanner that just kind of returns various price levels. This goes all the way from 001 to 50 cents. So it's very, very inefficient. But the one thing that's different about this one that I will talk about, other than the, you can see I have the pre-market again there, I have the volume, and I have the running up, whatever that means. But the one I wanna highlight and put emphasis on is this right here, block trade. A block trade is a, a trade in which a minimum number of shares go through in one block. For instance, if 50,000 shares trade in two 25,000 share blocks, then you know, those are two separate trades. But if 
50,000 shares trade and one 50,000 share block, then that was a 50,000 share block trade. So the reason I do this is because you'll see promo stocks having large blocks start trading on them. So for instance, this is the scanner that always catches NSRS and AMWI and the other ones that we've seen because just like you see ATRN up four times in a row here, you know, ATRN is clearly dominating the screen today because it's very liquid as we saw earlier. When these promos start off, NSRS just lit up this scanner just completely all you saw was NSRS 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 so you know and it's block trade block trade block trade so I like that because I can I know that okay there's a ton of block trades I, I better check this one out you know and again my chart is right next to my scanner I have a level two right there got a level two there with another group of charts so everything's very efficient in that I can take the stocks showing up on my scanner and plug them right into my chart and then when I find one I like oh GNBT great chart okay got one I like now I'm gonna put GNBT on my level two now I can watch GNBT so again, I want to emphasize, my scanner is not efficient. It is not a good scanner for reducing the number of stocks you are getting. But I trust myself to be able to pick out the diamonds in the rough, so to say. You know, I understand I'm going to get a ton of returns from my scanner, but because of the way I have my platform organized, it's not a big issue for me because I have the ability to still make good evaluations. So again, I recommend taking the time to mess around and you know, coming up with some of your own strategies. But the one thing I'll say is you want to have multiple scanners for different price levels. You can see I have three, and that's just for this page. I have other scanners on my other pages for big board stocks that have the same settings as well but this is my penny stock page, so to say. So mess around with it. Definitely look into the block trading one and definitely have the volume ones check marked off and you know, see what works for you, see what is annoying, see what isn't annoying, see what works out, see what doesn't work. You know, if you're getting too many results, you're not getting enough results, mess around with it, have some fun. And the way I learned and the way I set it up is like this and I did it you know without anybody really guiding me as to what which ones I should have check marked so chances are if you just have some fun and mess around with it you will be able to come up with a sound strategy scanner on your own in the end so hopefully everybody found this video useful